close your eyes, cut yourself off from the world outside. As the Buddha said, you put aside greed and distress with reference to the world. You're not responsible for anything out there right now. What you're responsible for is the state of your mind. That's something you should be responsible for all the time, because that's what shapes your life. If your mind is in good shape, then it tends to be more skillful in what it does and says and thinks. So take some time to put the mind in good shape, gather it around the breath. That's the shape the mind needs. It's a gathered around shape. It's got a center. And from that center, it spreads out. And that center is a good, solid foundation. You're staying with the breath coming in and going out. As long as you're alive, the breath is going to be there. So learn to be at home with the breath, on good terms with the breath. And then gather your thoughts around the breath. What kind of breathing would feel good right now? You can experiment. Try some long breathing, then some short breathing. Fast, slow, heavy, light. Deep or shallow, get to know what the body needs in terms of the breath right now. Remember, the breath is property of the body itself. It's not so much the air coming in and out, it's the movement of energy in the body that allows the air to come in and go out. So be in touch with that. And as you're grounded right there, as you settle in right there, and the mind begins to gather around, it's medicine for the mind. As the mind gets wounded, as it goes through the day, it gets wounded by things coming in from outside, it gets wounded by its own greed, aversion, and delusion. So you've got to care for its wounds. We do that with mindfulness, we do that with alertness, we do that with good breath sensations in the body. Because the mind needs something pleasant to stay with in order to settle in. So stay right here. Look after the mind. Be responsible for your mind. This has your most important possession. If the mind is in good shape, then everything else you tend to do will be well, well designed, let's put it that way. You're designing your life as you shape your mind. So put it in good shape and make it a good design. Make sure that the way you design your life is intelligent. You look at the world around you and there doesn't seem to be much intelligent design. And as the Buddha said, there's really nobody in charge. So it's different people trying their ideas about what might be good out of ignorance, out of greed, out of aversion, sometimes out of discernment, but most often out of ignorance. And look at the shape it's in. So you can design your life. What's the kind of design would you want? A life that's well lived, a life that finds true happiness. That's a good life. A life that finds happiness in a way that harms nobody else. That's a good life. So design a good life for yourself, and it starts by getting your mind in good shape. Look after it every day, every day, every day. And it will repay you many times more.